Hello everyone welcome to my channel UK Immigration and Visa Updates today we bring latest update regarding today August 16, 2024 UK latest news will be shared with you people so today's biggest news is the big ban on IHS fee in UK big announcement good news for visa holders big announcement good news for visa holders and good news for those taking universal credit in the UK a new demand to take benefits from the UK government all the details will be shared in today's video don't skip the video anywhere and those watching the video must subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon and share our videos as much as possible. Today's first news is the UK's immigration health surcharge allows you access to the NHS that is, the National Health Service when you are in the UK and you have to pay this fee with your student visa, work visa or any other application. And in the last few months, this fee has suddenly increased sharply. And now this fee has been increased to £1,000 for almost a year. So now, for example, if you are being issued a work visa for three years, then this fee has been increased from 1,000 to 3,000, and it is not easy to bear this amount because it becomes about 3 lakh rupees, and now you have to let me make it clear that if you want to avoid this fee. The only easy way out is if you are a healthcare professional and you applied for a health and care worker visa and you have a healthcare profession in the UK, was offered, then I would advise you to go back to your company and ensure that your field falls under the health and care worker visa category. If you have ensured that if taken, check under the category of health and care worker visa that you can go back to your company and further this is written on your cost letter which is your certificate of sponsorship and once it is mentioned there if you go then you will be exempted from paying the fee that is your fee is waived as this is the current UK law and anyone who is currently applying under the health and care worker visa scheme is subject to IHS. The fee is waived, which means that they do not need to pay this fee. Now let's talk about the people in the UK who are taking universal credit. There are almost 90 charities and NGOs in the UK, so they have started raising their voice about the amount of universal credit that the government is giving. It is not enough for people to live in the UK. Some people don't have money to eat and some people don't have enough money to live. If they are, they are demanding from the UK government to increase the universal credit and a survey has been conducted in this regard that in the UK, where 10 people are receiving benefits, 9 of them do not have enough benefits and they are studying £35 less a week so that they can meet their expenses. Then the universal credit that the UK government is giving to a single person is £80, but charities say that according to the cost of living, it is £120. The UK government is being pushed by charities to increase universal credit by £40 per week. 